Ready. Hello, everyone. It is me, Romania, from A Day with Romania. Sorry, y'all. I feel like I got some hair in my face. Hello. Uh, let me start out by saying welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to this channel, please, 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 we hope you stay. We hope you subscribe. Yeah, my hair is fine. I have the fan on, sorry. And you might hear that and the window's open because it is a little warm, but it's nice out. So anyways, I hope you stay. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below. Hit that bell button for everyone. So you know every time I upload, I've been very slow on videos and not feeling too well i actually recorded a video for you all yesterday uh of me explaining everything that's been going on the past week and been going on two weeks now and it didn't record <laughs> i was like talking took you all with me before i went shopping which is this is what's gonna come uh, I did a little haul. It's my husband's birthday is coming up on friday so i was going to show you what i got him i'm going to show you what i got from the dollar tree but it didn't record. I didn't record the haul, just me explaining what's going on. Uh, let me try to put this little pillow behind my back because my back is hurting. But anyway, so Monday, August the 30th. Now, if, if you all see my other videos, you've seen where I was saying I haven't been feeling too good. Monday, August the 30th was a day. Let me start out by saying I am very transparent. I'm very open. This channel, like, so I'm, I, I decided to kind of do my hair, put a little lip gloss on, because I know I've been looking a little rough in videos. This is a raw, open channel. So I suffer from diabetes. I suffer from neuropathy due to the diabetes. I suffer from migraines. I suffer from vertigo. And recently was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. So I'm in a lot of pain 24 seven. I'm in pain now. I just try to deal with it. I'm not on any opioids. Uh, they did give me some tramadol. I don't take that. Nothing helps. Me. They tried all kind of nerve medicines. Nothing helps me. My sugars bounce. One day they could be a hundred. One day they could be three, four, five hundred. They just bounce up and down all the time. And yes, I need to lose weight. But. It really gets me mad when people just think you're sick because you're overweight. I know plenty of skinny people that are sick. I worked in a pain clinic. The majority of the skinny people were sick. So when it comes to health, it doesn't matter. It, it can attack you skinny, medium, fat, whatever. I love me and I know I need to get healthy. Not just by losing weight, but by changing eating habits, by trying to exercise. But until you live in my skin and go through what I go through, you can't judge. Or, you know, like the people in my house, they understand what I go through. My husband and my son, which I want to thank on this video. Man, I don't know what I'll do without my husband and my son. They are my warriors. They take care of me so much. They are my king. So anyway, let's go back to August the 30th. I woke up at about four o'clock in the morning. Uh, my whole left side, especially my hand was on fire. Like literally like somebody had it just putting it in a flame. But I thought maybe it was my sleep. Maybe I'm dreaming. Let me try to go back to sleep. What's going on? Because I didn't feel like I was in my body. I felt like I was in my uh, outer body experience outer body experience so i tried to go back to sleep i couldn't so i i uh, was pushing my husband like something's wrong something's wrong he was like what do you mean i'm like my whole left side is on fire so i i jumped up i couldn't find my glucometer i found an old glucometer which battery was dying and the strips were from like 2018 or some old glucometer but I took my sugar and I think it said like 70 or something. And that might be normal for some people, but for me, whose sugars are mostly 200, that was bad. So I'm like, oh, my sugar's low, my sugar's low. He got me some juice. I waited about, I don't know, I, I can't remember, maybe five minutes, maybe 10. Took it again, it was like three something. I'm like, oh no, that's not it. Something's going on. Now I did take some insulin that was by my bed 
oh maybe I took some old insulin something is wrong so my husband's like just calm down it's gonna be okay and I kept like I couldn't relax I knew I was having an anxiety a panic attack as well but I felt like I was having a stroke so for like two hours, I'm going back to the bedroom, back to the bathroom, walking, looking in the mirror. When I look in the mirror, it's like, I can't see myself. It's just, it, it, it's so weird to explain how, how it was going on. But then I, I bust out crying and started, you know, saying all kind of crazy stuff to my husband. It was just really, really weird. So uh, after about two and a half hours of that, oh, let me back up. I did put on my Apple Watch. I tested my heart rate. It was extremely high. I don't have any heart issues. I don't have any blood pressure issues, thank God. But I just did not feel right. So I'm like, I have to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital because it's COVID. But I didn't know if this was related to COVID. I didn't know what was going on. So we, he takes me to the hospital. He can't go in. He has to drop me off. They don't even bring out a wheelchair. It's like they basically don't want to touch you until they know that you don't have COVID. Uh, they didn't bring out a wheelchair. I could barely walk. When I got in there, I, you know, I did say, you know, I'm vaccinated, but this could be related to COVID. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, they, no one is there. It's like, I've never been to the ER when no one is there. So I get in there, I get in the back. They, you know, ask me what's going on, tell them everything I just told you. They take my blood sugar. I think at that time it was like 250. And then they uh, take my blood pressure and it was high. My blood pressure was like 190 over 120. And it's never that. I have normal blood pressure. So they had me lay in the bed. They did an EKG. And then she's like, do you want, I, we have to take you to the back. Not telling me anything. So I'm scared. Am I having a heart attack? Am I having a stroke? What's going on? And I'm like, well, I can't walk. So she puts me in a wheelchair. She takes me to the back. The doctor's coming right away because literally it's nobody there. When I get in the back, it's so quiet. So the doctor's coming right away, asking what's going on. I explained it to them. They said, well, let us do some blood. We have to draw blood first. Your EKG was fine. Your blood pressure is a little high. I'm like, and your heart rate. I said, yeah, that's what alarmed me. That's basically what brought me in as well. So they did the blood uh, while they were waiting for blood tests, they hooked me up to an IV. They gave me morphine to kind of calm me and take because I'm in pain. But morphine, even morphine, does nothing for me. So uh, they gave me morphine. They gave me Zofran. He wanted me to do my urine, but I couldn't use the bathroom at that time. Uh, so once the blood work came back, it showed. They were wondering if I was going through something called diabetic ketosis I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right they call it DK um, and thank God I wasn't going through that but I, I think I was because that's kind of I think when your sugar jump, jump up and down or whatever I'm not sure but so they said my blood was lactating and that could be from the diabetes I don't exactly know what it means maybe I'll try to put something up here for you or at least the words so you can look it up I looked it up but I forgot because literally since then i've been brain having brain fog everything else i didn't test positive for covid at that time thank god uh but you know it could be side effects from it so uh she said well what we're gonna do we're gonna give you some more fluids some another iv saline 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 <laughs> saline solution and another one and then we'll test your blood again. And they wanted me to give me urine, so I finally had to go to the restroom. And then they let me go. My, my, the lactation in the blood went down a little bit, but they shouldn't have let me go because I still was horrible. I still felt horrible. I wanted to try to film it for y'all, but I just couldn't. I was shaking, like freezing cold, but burning up hot. It was really bad. So she, all they told me was that I had hyperglycemia, hyper something else. I'll put that up there too, what the, the things that they said I had. So for that whole week, I felt horrible. They had me off of work for, to, to that Friday before the holiday, but I didn't get any better. My head was hurting, so dizzy, so, so dizzy. So my doc, I had a video visit with my doctor. She took me off. She wanted me to see the endocrinologist come Tuesday. She had me going back on Tuesday, but come Tuesday, 
still didn't feel good. So she uh, kept me off because I seen I had to see my endocrinologist on Tuesday. So basically, nobody has done anything. I have an MRI. That's not scheduled to the end of the month. It is so hard to get in for an MRI. It's really, really sad. Usually the ER has an MRI. The one I went to, they used to have an MRI machine. They don't have one. Uh, my doctor put, all she did was put me on another medication, which is for anxiety, because she said that it was an anxiety attack. And they didn't do anything with my, my insulin, but they did add Trulicity, which I still haven't got waiting for that <laughs> so basically I'm just out here uh, I went back to work still feeling horrible yesterday I felt a little better and that's why I went out to do this because I don't know how every day is going to go so I wanted to make sure I had my husband taken care of for his birthday just in case I have some bad days I woke up today I said let me comb my hair let me put on a little of this uh, today is my sister-in-law's birthday who passed away in 2018 so we're gonna release some balloons for her and I'm just trying she went through a lot of stuff I'm going through but a million times worse so I'm just trying to push through trying to push push through so I telling you this story because I know it's people out there that's probably going through this I would hate that but I know it is if you could share some tricks something that you go through something that you do to get through the chronic pain, the anxiety. And the doctor did tell me that it's a lot of people coming in the ER that are vaccinated, that have COVID. It's bad, but it's not like death bad. Uh, there are a lot of anxiety and depression cases and suicide cases. So check on your people. Stay prayed up. Give encouraging words. Do what you can not to bring people down. And try to be a support system. It's time for us to come together. We're the, we're the only ones that can beat COVID. And we have to come together. So it, it's just a lot of things going on. So with that being said, yeah, just if you have any tips, if you don't want to leave them down below in the comment section, that's fine. You can email me a day with Romania at gmail.com. You can message me on Facebook, Romania Rodriguez Lavender. Very easy to find. You can even put a day with Romania and, and it will come up. And you can send me a message. But yeah, just, just let me know what you're doing. And if you need some advice from me, or if you need some encouraging words, I am here for you. This is what this channel is for. So with that being said, let's get into the haul. Thank you for listening to my story. And I'll keep you updated and just keep me prayed up. So let's get into it in no particular order because I don't know where everything is. <laughs> Jordan put everything out here for me and I thank him for that. So I went into Target. I had bought that Airwick warmer. Uh, I had did some shopping two or three weeks ago, but I didn't even feel like filming. That's how bad it was. It was like once I did the shopping, it took everything out of me. So anyway, I bought the Airwick warmer that is on TikTok trending where you put your Bath and Body Works stuff in there. And I'm like, no, I have too many body wears plugins. Let me take that back. It was ten dollars. Took it back, anyways. So when I took it back, all I did was get from from Target. I had a fifty cent off coupon. I have so many cleaning supplies, but I'm here are good things, and I might have had this a long time ago. So I got this, and this is the Lysol Hydro hydrogen peroxide multi-purpose cleaner just you know for and jordan is right here so i'm handing this stuff to him just for here goes another one just for cleaning now i heard i seen a lady haul this on i hope you can see it it is tuscan lavender and jasmine bleach free she hauled this on my one of the ladies i follow uh on youtube and when i tell y'all this smells so good so I just bought it to uh, clean. It says kills 99% of the germs, 99% germs, including the coronavirus. If you could see that. So oh, we're in 14 minutes. So just sit back, relax, get you something to drink and relax. <laughs> so I can't wait to use this. Put this one in the bathroom. I, that's what I bought it for, for my bathroom. So that's all I got. If you have your Target bags, make sure you take your Target bags. You do get five cent off for every bag. 
I believe it's five pound. So for those two, I paid five seventy eight with tax. It was six fifteen. I had a five dollar off. I had a five dollar gift card, so I only paid a dollar ten for that. Yeah, you get five cents for for your bag. So I, I always forget my bags, and I have several of them. Okay, so on to this looks like TJ Maxx. Mm, I know I got some other stuff. Okay. Anyways, like I said, no particular order. I went to Marshalls, Target, TJ Maxx, and Dollar Tree. So this is for my husband. His birthday is, again, it's Friday, and their birthstone is like a blue sapphire. So I tried to get him some blue stuff. And then I, I so I seen this blanket. We love blankets in our house. This is actually, I don't know if this is his or mine. Probably his, because he sits out here and he has it right there. But I think it's mine. <laughs> Anyways, I bought him this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blanket. It's by Ella Decor, and it's, I don't know, it kind of might look purple to you all, but it is blue, and it's really soft and nice, and so he can keep his blanket. He, I have a lot of blankets. I think him and Jordan might have a couple blankets. And so that was, I believe that was $17, $17 from TJ Maxx. And I seen these and I'm like, oh, this is such a good deal. And I called him and, and showed him. Cause I gave him, I bought him some polo underwear and a polo uh, t-shirts to go with it. And some jeans, I had already gave him that. We can't hold water in this house. I gave him that last week. <laughs> and I had bought him a champion hoodie, but it didn't fit him. So I had to take it back. So I'll show you what I got for there. But so I found this. And they, and they had them in XX large, and they were only twelve ninety nine, and you get eight. And so it might be TMI, but that's they're really nice. They only had this one pack, so I was lucky, and you get eight pair. So I called them. I'm like, you want these? I know they're a brand, Jake and Co. I don't know who they make, who makes them, but Jake and Co. So he was happy with that. He said, yeah, get it, get it. Uh. So I did get me something. <laughs> I did get me a phone case. And I was so happy to see the glittery phone case. If you could see it, it's got gold, gold glitter in it. It's called Glitter Floating Case. And it was only $7. So that was a good deal. I'm going to keep it over here so I get done. And with the matching phone case, I found the AirPods case. It, this is more of a gold, and this is like a light gold. I don't know if you can see it. I know probably the light might be in there. <laughs> Doing a um, thumbnail. But, yeah, so I'm like, okay. And this, these were only $4.99. So I'm like, that's not a bad deal. So I got a phone case and a iPod case for 12 bucks. That's good. Usually the cases are 12 bucks. Uh, and Jordan got, which I'll show you from my Marshalls haul, I got, Jordan got Jamel some Tommy Bahama cologne, which smells amazing because I get it from my stepfather all the Tommy Bahamas. And so I got, Jordan got Jamel that for his birthday. And then I found the Tommy Bahama. I don't know if you can see it. It's the man's African black soap, three in one for hair which my husband don't have no hair, but he does have facial hair. <laughs> Face and body sandalwood. I mean, and the bottle is beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. He's gonna, my husband's gonna love this. And so he's gonna get, and it was on clearance for four fifty. So he'll get this from Jordan with the cologne. And then I'm always buying my husband, uh, we buy each other. We don't get expensive wedding rings. Like my wedding ring is actually a Pandora, Pandora wedding ring and this is probably the fifth or sixth ring I had I'd rather get new rings every two or three years than have one expensive ring and that's how he is too so and I was looking like on my Facebook memories and I one year I had got him a sterling silver or might have been white gold sterling so one of them but it did have his birthstone in it wedding ring where it is I don't know so that's why I ain't spending a whole bunch of money on no rings and he isn't either <laughs> But I found this one. When I seen it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm getting him this wedding band. 
and you can see i thought it was blue tape but it's not it's like actually uh i forgot what she called it but it's called something but that is blue so this is part of his gift and it came in a nice little box nothing extravagant just something I, I, I believe maybe in our 10 year we might go all out it, we've been married eight years last month we hit our, hit our eight year anniversary so that is that i'm gonna actually put his bags together today and then we just put them in jordan's room all right so I'm going to put my Dollar Tree stuff right here and we'll go on to that in a minute. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, so here is what I got from TJ Maxx. I'm in uh, Marshalls. There's only three things. Again, I had to take the sweatshirt back. But here's a Tommy Bahama. And it's, oh no, I'm smelling something else. I was going to say you can smell it through the bag, but no, I smell something. I'll show you what it is. But this is the Tommy Bahama. And they're only $19.99. And I mean, they smell, my stepfather has them. They smell so, so good. So he'll get this from Jordan. If you can see it. <laughs> and this one, uh oh, Jordan, hand me that bag. This one is called St. Kitts. I was looking at them. They all have like different island names. I don't know. And then I have to see which ones I got my stepdad because I want to get him another one for Christmas. So that is for my husband from Jordan. And I, I'm hoping, because we have a lot of hoodies. I don't know if he has this one, and I hope he doesn't. But I, I had already bought him the hat, because the other hoodie I got him was white and blue and red. So I got him a, I think his hat is blue and black and red, or it will it'll match with this. So I love this blue. Again, with the blue for, I don't, you, you think husband got this one? Look, Jordan. You think husband got this? I don't know. But I got him that. I also, I ordered him some KDs, some shoes. They, hopefully, they'll be here by Friday. If not, I'll give him a picture of them. But it did say that they would be here by Friday. I ordered him that to go with. And then I got him the champion jogging pants. So he has a jogging suit, shoes, a blanket, underclothes, his ring, his cologne, and that's it. <laughs> what else could you ask? I'm like, wow, what can I get him? Because he has so much stuff like me. We're blessed to have a lot of material things. Like we don't, and we don't go a lot of places. He works six days a week. So he's good. I was gonna get him a Movado, but I'm like, he's got so many watches. So I usually, I, at one time I was just buying him watches to build up his collection. He has so many watches. He don't need another watch. Um, so I may see, think of something throughout the weekend. If I'm feeling okay, I'll run and go get it. But we'll see, I'll let y'all know. So on to the Dollar Tree haul. And sorry again for reaching back. It's just, I'm sitting on a couch. I didn't want to sit over there in the workspace because it's a lot of stuff. So I did land up picking him up two nice birthday bags. Happy birthday, it's got the glitter and then on the back it just shows without the glitter. And then this one, happy birthday. I thought these were really, really nice bags. I'm gonna set them right there so I'm gonna do the So this is what was smelling so good in there. This smells so good, y'all. So, so good. You only get 18 sheets, but it's only a dollar. So I better tell, mm, here, Jordan, you can put that up. And then I got my husband a knee support. You must only get him one of the knee supports. Yeah, so he's got two. Because poor baby, his knees, he is a cook, and he's on those legs all day long. And his, I'm going to put it right here. His, all his stuff is right there. <laughs> all right. And on to the next bag. Oh, I don't. I didn't get to show y'all. I bought this bag last time I went to Marshalls, and again, I didn't do that haul. But I love pumpkins. I not the Jan Jack and Lantern pumpkins. I just like pumpkins like this. And I love this bag. Like absolutely love it. As you can see, I love pumpkins. 
So this was a new, I don't know if this was a new site. I want to say it was because of, uh, well, I was going to say Walmart. If Dollar Tree had it last year, I would have definitely got it. By me loving pumpkins. So I'm going to put this on the outside of our door. It says welcome. And I'm so glad I went because I've been on the hunt for these. We're not really on the hunt because I ain't been to the Dollar Tree much. But hand me that L over there. Let me show you what I have found when I went to the, the last time I did go to the Dollar Tree. I had been on a hunt and they had these little, just little bitty pumpkins with initials on it. And I couldn't find an R for Rodriguez, but my last name is also Lavender. So I got an L and then I got my son. I got them a B. My son's last name is Bailey, but his girlfriend's last name is Gonzalez. I couldn't find a G. Well, I found the G. But this one is for the hanging door. So they can hang it like, you know, on the door. Or they can set it up on, you know, set just lean it on something. I found the G for them. Remember, I couldn't find the R in that. But I did find the R in the hanging pumpkin. I was so happy for that. So I also found them a B. Look how this, these are so beautiful. The, I, I couldn't find the R in this one, so I could only find it in that. Look, I love the buffalo check little bow, and then it has the galvanized leaf. Look how nice those are. And then I found the L. So I got them on. I was so happy. These do not look like they cost a dollar, y'all. These really, really do not look like they cost a dollar. They are really, really nice. If I do happen to see the R, I'm going to pick it up as well. <laughs> I land up finding these three face masks. I don't know if you can see them. One is like an army fatigue. One is a light brown. One is a black. I'm going to put one in my husband's birthday bag. And then one is for Jordan. Uh-oh. All my stuff is falling, y'all. So, these are really, really nice. I'm just putting this stuff here. <laughs> what else? What else did we find? I got me some socks. I needed me some more snuggadoos. I love these on my feet. Again, with the neuropathy, I, like, I get my feet done. I love to wear my sandals, but I haven't been able to. It's like I have to keep socks on my feet. I don't know what that's about. So I got me some new snuggadoos. And then I seen these socks. I like these. I go through socks like crazy because I wear them and Dollar Tree socks are nice but they do not up like if you wear them all day long and put them in a the washer they might not up but they're only a dollar so basically 50 cents for each sock so I got these two now the, the huge haul I'm almost done y'all now the huge haul I did get some juices we already put those up I always go there for my uh, off brand Splenda because it's only a dollar to get 50 packs. I love this one. I don't like the pink one, the sweet and low one. I like this one because it's like Splenda. It says same sweetener as Splenda. Yep. Sweet, sweeter price, it says. Uh, I want to get this sensitive, sensitive toothpaste. I have one by the Hello brand, but I'm running out and I can't find it. So I've seen this and I got some fillings back in the beginning of the summer and ever since then my teeth have been really sensitive. I probably need to go back so he can look on it. Look at it. It's a small little tube for only a dollar. You get 62% free. So I'm like, how much? It must have been half this. <laughs> half that size of the tube. Just some cheap old batteries. These batteries last good. They're not like if you need them for your company game controllers but for our remotes they're just fine so i got some of those someone was saying it was hard to find batteries but the dollar tree have those all day i'm gonna make spaghetti i might make it tonight i'm not exactly sure again we're supposed to go do a balloon release if we do we probably go out to eat so if not i'll make spaghetti tomorrow i just got some regular columbus spaghetti because you get a big old box of it and i got just a little small thing of grated Parmesan cheese. We don't eat it that much, but it was a dollar. So what can you say? I did get uh, this birthday bag. You actually get two and it's the glitter. This one isn't glitter, but this one is for Jordan to put his stuff in for Jamel. 
So it does go with his bags. And then I did get the four or five balloon for my husband. He is turning 45. <laughs> Sorry, the fan is blowing it by here. Got him balloons, got him a nice card. Honestly, I, I told my mom, I think I might've got him this card. Cause when I read it, it just, it's like a perfect card. But, oh well, <laughs> I'm double if not. Mm. <laughs> and then I got it. They didn't have stepfather, but my husband is more than a stepfather to Jordan. He is his father. He takes really good care of him. Jordan does have a father who is in his life, but he's blessed to have two dads. And so I did get him this from Jordan. I'm gonna read it to you. It says, Dad, today is a today is for celebrating you and all the things that make you such a wonderful person. It's a day for appreciating all that you are and all that you do to make life so much brighter for so many people. And it's a day of reminding you how very much you are loved. Happy birthday. And this is perfect because they they rock together. They are totally beautiful. And I'm going to read you mine. For my husband, as I celebrate your birthday, I think again of when God first brought you in my life. We shared a few more years and a few more birthdays since then. We shared a lot of good times, a lot of hard times, and a lot of blessings. More than we, more than we really deserve. Having you, having us, having him made all the difference. Oh, oh sorry, y'all. Happy birthday with all my love. And then it has a scripture. You are, you have a very special place in my heart. We have shared together the blessings of God. Philippians 1, chapter 1, verse 17. So, I thought that was beautiful. And I, again, I think I got him this. I thought about it when I was telling my mom about it. But it's beautiful. <laughs> Last bag, nothing, nothing. Spectacular. Two, I got some glaze storage. They do have the bonus. When you go to the Dollar Tree, look out for the bonus buys. So you get 13 instead of 10. I got two of these. We love these. You know, we have meat that we want to cut down and we just store it in there, stuff like that. Oh, that's some M&M &M peanuts. <laughs> and that's all, y'all. We're at 32 minutes. Y'all have really rocked with me today. If you got to the end of the video, give me a shout out. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> and I want to thank you all. Again, my email is a day with Romania at gmail.com. If you want to talk, if you're going through what I'm going through or know somebody that's going through what I'm going through, I just want to say hey, send me an email and I'll definitely reply. I love you all. Don't forget to share, share, share this video. Don't forget to keep watching. Put it on your TV. Let everybody know about a day with Romania. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.